Good morning, we are going to see about robot assisted percutaneous interventions, mainly focusing on the robotic systems and the requirements in brachytherapy treatment planning. The organization of today's lecture will be as follows, first we have the introduction, in the introduction we see why we need robotic assistance in performing this minimal invasive surgeries. Then we have the functional requirements for the robotic system in order to perform the brachytherapy. Then the basic workflow in the clinical scenario with the robotic systems and current robotic systems the state of the art we will be seeing in this lecture. Finally, the conclusions drawn from this lecture will be discussed. Now, coming to the introduction, why robotic assistance? In general, the percutaneous interventions for cancer treatment is done by a rigid needle inserted by the surgeon from the imaging feedback of the needle tip. He wants to go to this target from here or in this prostate gland he has to enter from the entrance to this target region. So, that feedback of the actual tip of the needle is obtained from the ultrasound imaging modality feedback, but what happens when the surgeon who is a human being when he inserts the needling system into the target region there could be error in reaching the target that is the target reaching accuracy suffers and hence we need a robotic system to, to manipulate this manipulator to this, uh, this needling system that needling system should be manipulated by a robotic system in order to improve the target reaching accuracy. Thus, to improve the needle tip positioning accuracy as well as the seed that is radioactive seed delivery. In order to reduce radiation exposure and fatigue of the physician, because it is a radioactive domain, thus the exposure to the clinical stops including the staffs as well as the physicians and also the patients will be reduced in this scenario with the robot assistance guidance and then dose optimization that means what are all the organs or what are all the regions the dose exposure should be planned and that will be optimized with this robot assistance involvement. Coming to the functional requirements when we include a robotic system, we need safety, safety for both the patients as well as the clinical staffs and also due to the physical motion of the patient, it must be safer enough for the robotic instrumentation as well and vice versa is in decontamination and cleaning the system. We need both the visual feedback and also the force feedback. The visual force feedback is the mandatory one and the force feedback is optional one depending on the application and our evaluation. And the system must be compact enough because in the confined operating theatre the robotic system will be close enough to the patient as well as to the physician and hence in that confined area the system must be compact and portable and also must be reliable in operation and must provide robustness to the disturbances that happens naturally by the patient's breathing and unconscious limb movements. 
and it must also provide any time provision for conventional mode. You can discontinue the automatic mode and connect to the conventional manual mode that must be facilitated with the robotic system. These are the five functional requirements safety, ease in cleaning, visual as well as force feedback must be compatible and compact, reliable and must provide robust operation against any disturbances and any time provision for conventional mode. Now come to the clinical workflow of the robotic system. The clinical workflow starts from the preliminary preparation which is nothing but sterilizing the needling system and placing the sterilized seeds in the sterilized cartridge and preparing the ultrasound machine connection to the computer and getting ready with the robotic system from the rest to the initial posture of the robotic system must be done in the preliminary preparation. Then come pre-operative setup. In here in this phase we need to clean and disinfect the robot as well as the associated instrumentation in preparation for the surgery. So, here the robot is initialized and entered into the patient information into the system. Here the patient information must be entered into the system and the robotic system must be initialized. Then comes the anatomical assessment. After initial anatomical assessment of the anatomical st structures of the patient for example, for the prostate cancer treatment the pubic arch assessment which is anatomical structure inside the patient must be assessed and after the initial assessment of that anatomical structures the prostate needles must be inserted according to the clinicians preferences using ultrasound imaging feedback modality to appropriate location and depth. Then comes the dosimetric planning. This is done in order to obtain the desired dose distribution to the organ of interest. The treatment planning system displays the planned isodose contours, needles position as well as orientation and the seed locations in the user selected 2D as well as 3D orientations. If required the clinician can edit the plan to start from the beginning accordingly and then comes the execution. Here once a radiation oncologist approves the plan the needles are inserted into the patient according to the plan. So, that execution is done here in the execution block. Then comes the real time plan readjustment. So, here the needle movement is adjusted automatically or manually to compensate for the organ of interest motion or deformation caused by the needle insertion. That is, once the needle is inserted into the prostate gland due to the insertion the prostate gland deforms as per the inserting needle. So, that must be taken care here and another potential solution can be to assess the tissue or target displacement and deformation in real time and adjust the dosimetric plan to obtain a new or adjusted location of the seed deposition because you have a plan and due to the insertion of the needle into the prostate gland the organ itself completely moves. So, the plan can be readjusted according to the new location of the organ as per the inserted force by the needling system. Then this situation is done for all needle that is it has done to the last needle 
if yes it continues to the reporting section else it goes to the execution and real time readjustment process. Then once the last needle is done the reporting part comes into picture where a chart a report has been prepared as per the American Association of Physicians task group and a report has been produced finally as per their approval. Then coming to the maintenance and storage. So, this report has been maintained and stored for the dosimetric final evaluation. So, this is the overall clinical workflow of the robot assisted prostate brachytherapy minimal invasive surgical procedure. And now come we, come, uh, we enter into the current robotic systems existing. The first system we are going to see is the electra nucleotron first system that is fully integrated real time seed treatment system. I repeat fully integrated real time seed implantation system or treatment system. It has a degrees of freedom two numbers and the number of needles getting involved in the insertion is 1 by the system and here the needle insertion is manual. Treatment planning system is the on centra seeds is the treatment planning system here and the needle tip positioning accuracy is very fine which is less than 0.5 millimeter and the seed deposition accuracy is less than 1 millimeter and the food and drug approval is given to this system. Now comes to the Euclidean system which is basically what is the Euclidean stands for? It is developed by the Thomas Jefferson University and it is standing the Euclidean name stands for endo-euro computer lattice for intratumoral delivery implantation and ablation with nano sensing. It has been developed by the department of radiation oncology at Thomas Jefferson University. It is an ultrasound image guided prostate brachytherapy robotic system. It has a degrees of freedom 5 degrees of freedom surgical 2 degrees of freedom for ultrasound probing system and 6 degrees of freedom positioning degrees of freedom and 3 degrees of freedom for the cart. And the number of needles involved in this system is 1 and here the needle insertion is autonomous and the treatment planning system is a in house system and the needle tip positioning accuracy and the accuracy for seed deposition are less than 0.5 millimeter and 1 millimeter respectively and it is equipped with force torque sensor to get the force feedback during the needle insertion into the tissue. Then comes the Mirab that is the multi channel image guided robotic assistant for brachytherapy, multi channel image guided robotic assistance for brachytherapy. It is also developed in the department of radiation oncology at Thomas Jefferson University and it has a same total degrees of freedom 6 degrees of freedom and it has a multiple needles being inserted parallelly as you can see here and this is the template for having the needle with a better placement and it has a treatment planning system which is in house and the needle insertion is autonomous here and the needle tip positioning accuracy is less than 0.5 millimeter and seed deposition accuracy is less than 1 millimeter and this system is not equipped with force torque sensor. Now coming to the robotic system which is developed by the research team at University Medical Center Utrecht in the Netherlands which is a MR compatible robotic system for allowing online MRI guided 
prostate brachytherapy. And this system has 5 degrees of freedom and it has single needle to be penetrated and the needle insertion is autonomous whereas the needle withdrawal is manual and it is provided with emergency stop and the deposition of the seed accuracy is less than 1 millimeter. It is not equipped with four stock sensor and the depth movement is observed to be 150 millimeter. Then comes the robotic system developed by the University of Wisconsin which is a robotic system for automatic and semi-automatic source placement. It is developed by the University of Wisconsin and it is meant for both autonomous and semi-autonomous source placement that is radioactive source or seed placement. It has degrees of freedom totally 6 degrees of freedom and it also involves single needle insertion and the needle insertion is both autonomous as well as manual and the accuracy of the seed deposition is less than 1 millimeter, but it is not approved by the food and drug association and it is equipped with four stock sensor and the depth movement here is 250 millimeter. Then comes the robotic system developed by the engineering research center and the radiation oncology department of Johns Hopkins University that consists of a transrectal ultrasound system and a spatially co-registered robotic manipulator integrated with an FDA approved commercial treatment planning system. Here the degrees of freedom are 4 degrees of freedom surgical and it has a depth movement of 120 millimeter whereas the accuracy of the needle tip positioning is less than 1.04 mm very precise needle tip positioning accuracy and the both needle insertion as well as the needle withdrawal is manual here. The salient feature of the robotic system is that it is compact parallel robot affixed to the mounting post of the conventional template by removing the template. The robot replaces the template interchangeably and uses the same coordinate system. Coming to the second robotic system developed in the Johns Hopkins University by the urology department of that university which is MR compatible system and it has a total of 4 degrees of freedom. This robot is called MR boat or just we can say Mr. Boat that is MR compatible robotic system. It has a number of degrees number of needles involved is only one and both the needle insertion as well as the withdrawal is autonomous in this case and the seed deposition accuracy is less than 1 millimeter whereas the needle tip positioning accuracy is 0.5 millimeter and it has a depth movement of 40 millimeter. The system utilizes a new type of motor specifically designed for this application the pneumatic step motor which is called as new step P N E U S T E P new step motor which is specifically designed for this application and it is meant for low dose rate brachytherapy treatment LDR stands for low dose rate brachytherapy treatment. Then comes the third robotic system developed by the engineering research center and the department of mechanical engineering of the Johns Hopkins University which is a remotely actuated manipulator for 
accessing the prostate tissue under MRI guidance. So, this has 3 degrees of freedom totally and the number of needles involved is only one and the seed delivery as well as the needle withdrawal are both manual whereas, the accuracy of the needle tip positioning is 2 millimeter and the provision for conventional mode is present here in this system, but it is not equipped with four stock sensor and the application is prostate seed implantation and it has imaging modality which is magnetic resonance. Then the robotic system we are going to see is the system developed in collaboration by the engineering research center at the Johns Hopkins University and the department of radiology at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. It is a numerically operated 6 degrees of freedom robotic system for placement of a transperineal prostate needle in 3 T closed bore MRI and the system has 6 degrees of freedom and it has one needle both seed delivery as well as needle withdrawal or manual whereas, the needle tip positioning accuracy is 3 millimeter. The provision for conventional mode is present here in the system and the application is same as prostate seed implantation, but the system is not equipped with four stock sensor. Then coming to the system robotic system which is developed by the University of British Columbia which is a 4 degrees of freedom trusts that is transrectal ultrasound guided robot robotic system for prostate brachytherapy. The robot the robotic system can translate a needle guide in the x y plane allowing for precise needle insertion along the z direction. And the system can also support inclined needle insertion with the angle of inclination plus or minus 30 degree, providing fine control over the needle insertion point and angle. The robot is compact and mounted on a strand standard brachytherapy stepper. Because of the compactness, it can be mounted on the standard brachytherapy stepper. The ultrasound imaging modality is the one getting used in this system and the needle tip positioning accuracy is less than 0.3 millimeter. Of course, both the seed delivery as well as the needle withdrawal are manual here. Then comes to the Robats Research Institute or RI London, Ontario, Canada has developed a system which is 4 degrees of freedom robotic system and the system supports the needle guide from the underside by two hinged parallelograms spaced in a manner in which their fixed points of rotation are mounted onto a common shaft. Here the needle tip positioning accuracy is observed to be 0.9 millimeter and the seed deposition accuracy is 1.6 millimeter and the number of needle involved is single. Now, coming to the Chug robot which is developed by the Grenoble University Hospital in France which is a 5 degrees of freedom robotic system and it is equipped with ultrasound imaging modality. This system has the needle tip positioning accuracy 1 millimeter for the application of prostate seed implantation. The system can be mounted on existing steppers and also easily accommodates existing seed dispensers such as the mic applicator. This robot is capable of inserting the needle automatically however, low days rate low dose rate brachytherapy seeds can only be delivered manually by this system. Truss guidance that is transrectal probe guidance 
makes it capable of real time monitoring of needle insertion and seed delivery. Next we have the Mira 5 robotic system which is basically the University of Western Ontario Canada has developed this system which is Mira 5 which is the minimally invasive robot assistant for image guided lung brachytherapy. So, this system is a 5 degrees of freedom system and both the seed delivery and withdrawal needle withdrawal are manual here and the needle tip positioning accuracy is 0.9 millimeter which is equipped with emergency stop and it is used for the seed implantation application. And now coming to the safety issues associated with the robotic systems or delay in procedure and undesired movement of the robotic system disturbing the patients or harming the patients as well as the clinical staffs or the anatomical movement of the patient damaging the instrumentation associated with this clinical environment and the placement error of the needle or the seed and incorrect number of delivered seeds and then finally, we have the safety issue which is due to needle buckling or breaking. Needle buckling is the strong bending of the needle with sharp edge or the breaking. These are the safety issues we come across the robot assisted percutaneous needling interventions. Then coming to the final conclusions with this robot assisted percutaneous interventions we end up in improvement in both accuracy and the precision of the overall process. It helps in reduction of radiation exposure to the medical staff and the robotic systems are difficult in uh, different in automation level and functionalities that is observed from the state of the art. We observe that each robotic system is unique in their design as well as in automation level and also their functionalities and in the near future the robotic systems will be standardized for minimal invasive surgeries. Thus as a conclusion for this lecture we have seen that how a robot guided brachytherapy or any percutaneous interventional procedure is different and advantageous than manually inserted needling system for percutaneous for interventions or cancerous treatment. The main advantage is it can help in improvement in both accuracy as well as precision of the minimal invasive procedure and also it helps in reduction of radiation exposure to medical staffs. And the robotic systems from the state of the art it is observed that the robotic systems each robotic system is unique and are having different autonomous level and functionalities. And in the near future the rigid or passive flexible needles must be replaced by smart needles. So, that the accuracy and also the dose exposure to other neighboring healthy organs will be in a better way. So, that the exposure level will be reduced and the dose optimization will be improved and the damage to the neighboring organs will also be lesser. And in the near future it will, it will be going to reach a state in such a way that the robotic systems will become standardized for these percutaneous interventions such as minimal invasive surgeries.